One of the hard parts about having a weekly woodworking show is that it's very difficult for me to get things done around my shop that I need to get done and still make videos. For a long time, I've been wanting to paint my walls and install some new lights and organize my table saw accessories. And also I got a new dust separator that I've wanted to set up. I just haven't had time. So this week, rather than just making one project, I decided to take you along with me as I spruce up my shop. But wait, there's more. <laughs> It seems like all woodworkers are doing stop motion animation in their videos now. And I thought, well, you know, I really gotta jump on this bandwagon. So I've included a few really cool stop motion animation scenes in this video. Altogether, it's about 20,000 frames of animation and it took me about six months to complete. <laughs> I'm nothing if jumping on a bandwagon. Anyways, I'm gonna get started by painting that wall, which well, actually, I've already painted it. We'll go back in time. Look, it's my magical question and answer box. Remember that? You can probably tell it's been a while since I've dusted up on top here. And by a while, I mean like 10 years. Uh, it's a good opportunity to use some of this old paint I've been storing for years. But I think the paint is still good and for the shop, it's gonna be fine. Painting OSB is not very easy. It just really soaks up the paint. And it's taken me almost half a gallon of paint just to paint this small little area. Maybe I'll do that wall some other day. weeks ago, a viewer, Mark Hack, sent me this dust separator system. I haven't had a chance to put it together, so I'm gonna see if I can get this all working now. Let me show you my shop vac. <clears throat> and this is the filter in it, which is always just clogged. And the purpose of the dust separator is to save the life of your filter and make your vacuum much more efficient. It's sort of like Ikea, you gotta put it all together. Luckily, it comes with a, an instruction manual. Oh, I love the smell of vinyl. I'll bet you anything I end up with extra parts. So they got washers in this bag and then they got washers in another bag. Gotta keep them separated. Oh, a gasket. O-rings. Ooh, a, a bandersnatch. Uh-oh. make any sense. It said to put these in here like that. And my first thought was, well, that's kind of dumb to put them that way. Shouldn't they be equally spaced? They only give you three casters. Yeah, that's better. Oh, I get to open this other little bag. These must be the parts for the wheels because there's three washers and three nuts. It still seems kind of tippy. Maybe I could put a brick in there or something. Uh-oh. I think I just screwed that up. It looks like this unit is supposed to attach to my shop vac and then it roll along with it. That's why there's only three wheels. It doesn't roll on its own. Maybe there's a reason why I should read the manual. And to mount it to my shop vac, it comes with this little foam piece. I thought that was packing material and I threw it away. <laughs> It looked like packing material. They should put a note on that that says, this is not a packing piece. I'm really not good with these kind of things. Okay, now this has become a project. I've moved outside where I have a little bit more room to work and I'm gonna try to attach this. I cut a, a two by four. I'm gonna try to attach these, except it doesn't fit flush. That's why they use foam, so that it'll all just squish together. Look what I found. It's a big sheet of styrofoam. Maybe I can use that. Yeah, maybe I could sandwich two of these together. Yeah, now we're talking. Then I can squish it, squish it together. Somehow I've got to get holes through the styrofoam and the bucket and the shock bag. Maybe just the squishing of the styrofoam will seal it off. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to go. This needs to come out somehow. But wait, how am I gonna attach any hoses? Basically, it seems like none of my pieces really go together. This doesn't fit in here, so I need to take this off, but I can't get this off for anything. I put this 
this inexpensive work light up here years ago so it would illuminate my lathe area, but as it turns out, these lights are not very bright, so I really never used it. I got some new lights, I'm gonna replace it. electrical work and wire something up, there's always this moment before I turn it on for the first time, wondering if it's really going to work or if it's just going to go ah! My plan for storing these table saw sleds is going to be either really cool or really stupid. I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to attach this piece of old closet rod using these metal pipe hangers. I'm gonna try to find the balancing point roughly on all of these sleds and then I can put a hook in them. Yeah, I think this is gonna work out. The nice thing about it is I don't have to give a lot of thought to where I put these, just anywhere on these chains. This sure is saving a lot of space in there. I think I'm gonna like that. I want to make a small cabinet for all of these table saw accessories so they'll be in one place. I'm sure I've got some more that I can add to it, but these are the ones that just seem to constantly be all over the place. This is the biggest piece of three quarter inch plywood that I have, so I'm gonna use it and try to hobble together some other pieces of scrap lumber to build this. I'm gonna cut a series of slots in this board four inches apart for the shelves. I'm using my dado blade. I could also use a router. This just seemed a little quicker. Now I can cut this into three equal strips. I thought I'd get real fancy and join this all together with dovetail joints. Nah, that scared you there for a minute. Just glue and screws. The only trick here is I want to make sure that all of these slots line up so that the shelves will fit in properly. Now I just need to cut the top and the bottom. And that's all there is to it. I'm gonna make the shelves using hardboard. I'm sure I'm not gonna need all six of these, but I went ahead and cut them all. And that's one way to make a quick and easy storage cabinet in about an hour. My shop is completely organized now. <laughs> hey, I'm excited to tell you about a new sponsor to the show, Audible.com. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable audio books. They've got gazillions of them. Well, over 100,000 of them. In honor of last week's video, I've been listening to the zombie survival guy. <laughs> it's really funny. In case there's ever a zombie apocalypse, I'll know what to do. So it's really cool because I can listen to audiobooks while I'm working in my shop. But the best part about it is audible.com is giving away a free download to viewers of Woodworking for Mere Mortals. All you gotta do to claim your book is go to audible.com slash woodworking and just download it to your phone or your iPod or whatever and you can listen to it in the shop. Don't forget that's audible.com slash woodworking. Did you enjoy the animation? It was like Pixar quality, wasn't it? I was thinking about releasing a behind the scenes video on how I did that animation, but you know, I, I don't even want to reveal my secrets. Oh, I want to thank everybody who's been donating over on subbable.com. Your donations really help out a lot. And don't forget, if you'd like to support the show, please visit subbable.com. <laughs> well, now that it's officially November, Christmas projects are on their way. Hey, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have new woodworking videos every Friday. Well, except last week. It wasn't really a woodworking video. It was controversial. Last week's video was controversial. <laughs> Anyways, thanks a lot for your support, and I'll see you next week.